everyone. This is going to be my video on how to uh, set up Freddy Fish for the PC from Steam in order to uh, speed run it. I, I only know how to get it set up from the Steam copy, and I'm sorry if you have like a physical copy of it. I, I don't know how to do that. And so, first thing, when you uh, speed run these games, you're gonna have to record it. I use OBS to record it, and you're gonna need a timer. I used W Split for the timer. I'm not gonna talk to about those any more than that. There are other programs for those as well. I've seen other people use different timers. I've s I assume people use other recording software. Those are the ones I use. They're the ones I know how to use. There's tutorials out there for those. After you've downloaded the games for uh, for Steam, the Freddy Fish games, I only have speedrun Freddy Fish 1, 2, and 3, you are going to need to download Scum VM and also by using the Steam versions of the games or Scum VM, uh, you are technically doing an emulation run. We all use do an emulation run. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's see here. Here is the website for Scum VM. You know, URL I'll probably have it in the description. You're gonna have to go over here to downloads. It took me a while the first time to find that button. It's so small and crap. And then I just downloaded it here. From that, it's all nice and fancy like. And here it is, good old Scum VM. Once you've downloaded it, the first thing that you need to do is actually add the games from your Steam library. So you just C drive. Oh crap! Blah, I messed that up. Sorry about that. Go to your C drive, or whatever drive you have Steam downloaded on, files, program files 86, go to the Steam, where are you, QRS, Steam, and then you're going to go to Steam Apps, Common, and then here's going to be all your fancy Steam games, and here are my pretty fish games, you just click it, choose, and that should add them to it, but as you can tell, I've already done that, and then you can do different things within the games, you know, change the graphics and stuff. I personally use graphics two times, so it's big enough where I, my mouse most likely won't drag off of it, and it's also easy to record. I've heard of other people who speedrun it who do full screen modes, which I think are these two down here. I personally don't do full screen modes just because they're too big for me, and then I can't drag my mouse around fast enough. But that. But full screen modes definitely do help with dragging your mouse outside of the window, which can be very annoying and slow down runs. And then, let's see here. You're going to also need to choose the path for the game to save. The path being the exact same as how you got to the games in the first place from your C drive, program files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common. And then you go to the desired game and then just saves and that's where it's going to be. I already have that set up and I don't want to accidentally ruin that. So that's where those are going to be. The next thing that you're going to need to do is actually get the fast saves because in case you've never played a Freddy Fish game before, the it's a point and click adventure game where you got to find something like for instance the third one is just like these golden pipe things for conch shell and the way that they work is that it's supposed to be like a different experience each time so uh, different ways are going to be faster and so someone else has found the fastest ways I think it was G2XP if it wasn't him then I don't know who it was but he's definitely the one who uploaded them all here um, and also that's me assuming G2XP's gender. I have heard his videos, so I assume it's a guy, unless it's a girl with a deep voice. In case it is, I am sorry. And then you're going to download the saves, which I've always just downloaded the one that's called Steam version. Uh, actually, maybe I've downloaded the non-Steam version. Either way, I've got, I'm pretty sure I've gotten both of them to work through this manner. It doesn't matter. Once you've downloaded them, you're of course going to have to sift through all your files to get to it. And just by going the same thing, go to local disk, times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, oh come on, Common, and then going to the save and putting them in there. And once you've done that, and you have gotten your timer and your recording software working, you are officially ready to start speed running Freddy Fish games. 
but there are a few things that uh, come, you know, a few differences when it comes to different furry fish games. First one has the most, is the most troubling out of the three that I play, and that is you have to play it in, oh, what's the name of that language? I have it up, you know, it's on this here page. You have to play it in Norwegian, which means if you've already, if you already have the game downloaded on your computer, on Steam, go to your Steam library, right click it, properties, and you're going to have to switch the language to Norwegian. Why we do this is because supposedly that's the only language that you can skip the cutscenes in. I can't prove it, I just assume that's, that it's true. You know, there's my time right there, Norwegian. I just assume it's true. I don't bother arguing with anyone because they have been Steam, uh, speed running it uh, longer than I have. So, uh, that's about it though when it comes to that actual language of that. I don't think you really have to worry about setting it up, you know, worry about the language setting up besides that. Also, the save file that we have on there is wrong. Uh, save file resources. All these J2XP ones, or, or at least the, these two Norwegian ones, the file is named slightly different and doesn't actually work with it. Uh, this one, I honestly, I haven't tried this one. I assume it works right because it says correct, and so I assume that it actually works right. But these ones, they're just named a little bit funny. I have them downloaded right here. This one right here is the one that it's going to give you. You just have to rename it and get rid of the MB and one of the dashes, like how the top one is. The top one will actually work. The bottom one will not work. You know, even if it's in the proper save spot, for some reason, since it's named slightly different, the game doesn't, like, compute it. For some reason, I don't know. And then... Uh, also, when it comes to the first game, there's two different keys for skipping. There's two different types of cutscenes. There's uh, animation cutscenes and there's dialogue cutscenes. And there's two different keys for it, escape and period, which, if you kindly look down at your keyboard, you'll notice the buttons are very far apart. J2XP uh, doesn't do any different kind of rebinding, but I find uh, personally find it annoying to have to keep switching my finger, and so I have re uh, like, you know, reprogrammed like keyboard kind of stuff. Uh, I was asking around about how other people do it, and let's see, I have it written down here. Like, uh, Tristan Ray said that they use auto hotkey. I looked into it. I couldn't figure out how to use it. And, uh, I have a Razer keyboard and so it, when I plugged it in it made me download a thing and in that I can change it. But uh, when it comes to uh, rebinding keys and stuff like that all you're allowed to do is just rebind them. You can't you know make it you can't you know press a key and just have the game beat it for you like a tool assisted speaker or anything like that that's not allowed just changing what keys mean what as to make it more comfortable for your hand that is allowed and that is all of the weirdness that comes with the first game in freddy fish 2 uh, there's rng there's these knots that you're gonna have to worry about and uh let's see freddy fish 2 there's knots they're gonna have to worry about and also a trident puzzle but trident puzzle you should be able to figure out but the knots you're gonna have to memorize these different for you know for an optimal speed run you know, I only have these two memorized right now as of the making of this video but uh, I of course plan on memorizing the other two you know of course you don't have to memorize them you can just glance over at them when you are speed running but it'll of course be slower and uh, that's about uh, all that I'm going to go into in this video I'll, I'll explain to try it more if I do a video that's like specifically about Freddy 2 and how to speed run it and then Freddy 3 all you have to do is is download the specific file you know the specific file for it and put it in the right spot and that's it when it comes to Freddy 3 there's nothing else that you really need to worry about except for you know beating the game there's no weird setting the language to Norwegian which you also do not have to do for Freddy 2 and I, I think
think Freddy 4, I have I don't speedrun it, but I, like I've looked at the leaderboard and I don't think anyone's times are in Norwegian. And I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions about setting up for speedrunning Freddy Fish, leave them in the comments below or go into the Discord. And it'll be uh, we talk there sometimes it's usually not very active like usually we just all have it opened up in the background and if we hear you know someone typed in a message we'll all check it you know stuff like that uh, that's where I have had most of my Freddy Fish speedrunning questions answered which I'm gonna make you know planning on making this video guide you know this being the first of the video guide about these games uh, just that way people who start speedrunning this game won't we won't all have you know we won't have to repeatedly answer the same questions kind of a thing just make these videos to be nice and easy and i hope this was helpful and i hope you have a good rest of your day or night or whatever time that you're watching this